everyone I finally decided that I'm gonna make another prep series called challenged which this one is episode one the reason why I'm gonna be doing this is that um, it's gonna be good to actually look back on my prep especially in the next season round there was actually one thing that I actually learned from my last uh, journey to the stage series whilst I was looking back at the videos I actually felt that I was quite negative last um, prep series like I think prep really took a toll on me and I didn't know what I was actually getting into as in like going onto the stage what it was going to be like and so therefore I didn't know whether I was going to like being on the stage whether I was going to be enjoying it or was all this like hard work worth it but at the end of the day I loved being on stage it was amazing to have gone through all those challenges just looking back at it now I can just remember myself being so negative I was constantly never happy with what I was achieving I wanted more, was never happy with my body. It was actually nice to look back at it and see that I've actually, my mindset has actually changed so much mentally. Throughout this journey, I've kind of learned about that it's not about how you feel on the outside, but it's more about how you feel in the inside. So looks on your body, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy in the inside and it doesn't matter about whatever anyone says it's all about you as long as you're happy with your body and what you've achieved and the challenges that you've gone through to get that body i think that is the most important thing you've got to take away about the bodybuilding life because your body is going to be constantly changing to have that understanding in the bodybuilding life is amazing because your your body is going to be forever changing it's never going to be the same the way i look now it doesn't look like what i looked like two years ago whenever i was um i was trying to lose weight muscles come into the equation a lot and they help burn fat it, it heightens your metabolism so like I'm going to be losing fat a lot easier than the last times because I didn't have that muscle equation into this body. I don't know if that actually makes sense. Basically, the main challenge for this prep is to love my body no matter what changes go through. Even every single little change, I'm going to love it because it's me changing to my end goal and it's just going to be a challenge um there's going to be so many challenges and struggles that go through it and i want to share it with you guys it all because i know that there will be a lot of people that want to actually think about maybe um, going into a competition maybe for a bikini maybe for a figure and it's probably their first time and they don't know what what prep is going to be like and also i'm going to do a full day on the bikini show as well so you can see what it's like, the adrenaline, what it's like behind the scenes. Um, so that you can know yourselves whether this is the life you want to go through. You all know my perspective through the sh through um, bikini prepping and going to stage and how I love it because everyone's different and how they go through prep. So that's why I'm going to vlog this journey with you guys so that you can experience all the challenges I deal with throughout this prep that I go on a weekly or daily basis. Um, I'm going to do it all. I'm going to up my vlog game and hopefully show you everything. I'm very competitive and I like to achieve my goals that I have made for me. I will be competing in York in the UK Up competition um, on the 24th of September. It'll be fun. I'm 12 weeks out today. So excited. So I will get this video on the way of a full day of eating of what I eat on a prep. Today is a low carb day. So yeah, um, what I do throughout the day too. So it'll just it'll be like an eating vlog, day vlog eating day vlog. Come and subscribe if you haven't already to this channel um, hopefully the series will uh, bring a lot to you guys, relate to you guys especially if you're on a diet or maybe even on a prep as well. Um, if you haven't already come subscribe to my channel and like if you haven't already, share it if you have any other friends and companions you want to share this lovely video to. So I guess I will see you in the next <laughs> start off the day is with an Activa vanilla fat free yogurt it's 125 grams I will put the macros here um, 
just feeding the dog at the moment. Um, we are actually rushed for time because I was too busy videoing. But yes, yeah, so we're rushed for time. I'm gonna get my teeth checked up because I think I have fillings that have fell out um, for a while now and they're actually starting to feel sore. And I don't want that. I don't want like really bad pain throughout my prep, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry about the mess in the background. I'm going to clean it tonight <laughs> whilst Gavin is at work and I'm free. I'm gonna do a little bit of video vlogging. And yes, so we're gonna go to dentist, then gym, hit the shoulders, and then Cause I don't ever wanna know Don't ever wanna see things change Cause when I'm living on my own I wanna take it back and start again Most nights I pray for you to come home to the Lord, praying for my soul. Now, please don't go. Most nights I hardly sleep when I'm alone. Now, please don't go. Oh no, I think of you whenever I'm alone. So please don't go. I said so many messages. You don't reply. I like to keep it quite healthy, but at the same time have the little foods that I love as well. There, that's just kind of like an example of what I have every, like what I have in my fridge all the time. Like fish cakes aren't healthy, but you know I count macros and it's called flexible dieting. That's what I do. I don't follow your bro diet whenever you're like on a bikini prep. So I keep it simple, but also incorporate a little bit of flexible dieting in there. I'm gonna have a muscle food pizza now, protein pizza, which is like. 30, 20 to 30 carbs, which like a normal pizza would be around about like 40 to, no, would be around about 80 carbs for pizza. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, that, that rolls. And flexible dieting with a lot of healthy food incorporated into it as well has helped me a lot these past two months. Um, I have it a lot more healthier and just kept it really, really simple. Just like veggies, fish, chicken. Like I don't try to incorporate a lot of sauces and all like that this time around. It just, it just, it just makes life so much more easy. There's no more faffing about with my macros and flexible dieting and everything like that. Um, but I used, I still use that format um, on tracking macros. If you don't know anything about macros or flexible dieting, I will post a link below. So I started at 130 pounds two months ago, and now I'm at 118. So you see the footage. I have leaned down a lot. I'm 12 weeks out now, and basically flexible dieting with healthy eating has been really good on me. I know my body a lot more this time and I know what I need to do with it, what I can't eat and what I can eat. Life is all about learning about yourself every, each and every day. Like your body changes throughout time, especially when you're in this bodybuilding industry. I was talking about the Mighty Meat protein pizza must from Muscle Food and then Gavin's having this stone baked because he needs the carbs. So you can see the difference between the macronutrients. Yes, so much better. Like it's reduced in fat and carbs, 76 grams of protein and gluten free. So I'm not gonna get that blue. The only thing is that it is quite high in sodium so I would drink a lot and I mean a lot of water after this. You're meant to fill this with wine and champagne. But we fill it with monsters, which I probably don't have one. Monster is my best friend. Would you rather 30 carbs or 80? I think I'll go for the 80 if I the carbs. <laughs> right, so snack of the day whilst watching him hump his panda. 
grid, based grid. So we have 120 grams of pineapple and then 150 grams of strawberries, which I've already popped into this My Fitness Pal. And voila, dinner, a la dinner. So we have 180 grams of chicken, minced up chicken, um, with some big bell peppers. We've got the um, VT spicy Mexican rice mixed with spinach and asparagus. Um, nom 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 nom. This actually looks really good. I'm excited to eat it. It is nice and healthy. I've got the house clean from before and after. So it's beginning to become the end of the night and I think I'm gonna end it with my spinach drink. I find that it actually helps me, especially whenever I've had some, a lot of sodium throughout the day, especially from that pizza. It kind of like minimizes the water retention from the sodium. So I'm gonna do that now. Basically, I meant to have like, I meant to have around about four, 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day, but I don't like drinking my spinach drink and, vit vit and then my vitamin C. It just, I feel like I'm just drinking a lot of water, so I just kind of combine them together. I mean, it's raspberry flavor, and then you've got spinach and mint and cucumber and lime. It tastes good. I think. So that's probably me for today, guys. I hope, I hope you enjoyed the full day of eating. And that's episode one for you. I will see you in episode two. So don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like below. Click. See you in the next one.